uncovers stories of America's past that never made it into the textbooks. WJCT is proud to feature additional local stories from Florida's history. My name is Tom Berry. I'm a volunteer at the Guana River Research Reserve, and we're out at uh, Shell Bluff on the Tolomata River. Shell Bluff, uh, it's got a very rich archaeological history and goes all the way from uh, three to 5,000 years ago, all the way up to pre-European period um, when the Spanish and, and then the British were here. The Menorcans have uh, a, a pretty long history here. This property was uh, part of a British plantation and when the Menorcans were freed from their indentured servitude in New Smyrna Beach, they came up here and started farming all over the St. Augustine area and they were granted Spanish land grants in 1804. So we have a documented record of who was here and this was Juan Andrews property, 160 acres. The well that's on the property here is locally called the Menorcan Well because it was on the property that uh, uh, Juan Andrew uh, had. According to the archaeologists that discovered this and documented it in 1985, they believe that the river has eroded this property between 30 and 50 meters. So this well would not have been right in the salt water that it's in now. It would have been 30 to 50 meters away. So it would have provided uh, fresh water that may have been a little salty, but it was a main fresh water source for the farmer. The present location uh, obviously is, uh, uh, is being severely eroded. Hurricane Matthew and Hurricane Irma has taken about five to 10 feet of, of land uh, away and now the well's fully exposed. Uh, attempts uh, were made, at least the study was done in, in 2010 with all of the appropriate uh, people who would be involved in relocating it. The plan was to relocate it up to where the education center is, put it on the side of a hill with a cutaway. And it's important because uh, this goes back, documented to probably uh, in the 1802 to 1810 time frame of a Menorcan farmer who had a Spanish land grant, so it is important. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Lastinger Family Foundation, the Huff Family Foundation, Weaver Family Foundation Fund through the Community Foundation for Northeast Florida, and the Joy McCann Foundation. Funding for Secrets of the Dead is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you 